So Dave and Leah, tell us a little bit about yourselves and how you uh, kind of got into the business, thinking that financial planning would be the uh, right choice for your career and to help other people. Absolutely. Leah, go ahead. My passion grew for um, helping my soldiers. I served 23 years in the military and just helping soldiers and their families, just walking through kind of just the basic needs and then carry that forward through really all facets of financial planning. So, and I still love helping people every day. Well, that's good. And thank you for your service. Thank you very much. And, and really for me, it's a family business, uh, similar to you. My dad started in 1971 with a little company called Bates and Company. Back then, we called them stockbrokers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and, uh, and then the industry evolved to become financial planning. Um, Dad was one of the first certified financial planners uh, in San Antonio, and I followed in his footsteps. So joined him in 2002. We had the opportunity to work together for a number of years growing our practice. Uh, it's been very gratifying to work with families and multiple generations of families now at this point. So David, when it comes to getting legal help, people go to a lawyer. But when it comes to getting financial assistance, we don't always think about going to someone for a professional opinion. What do you want everyone to know? The main thing I want people to know is we care about you like you're our own family. Okay. In fact, Leah and I are accredited investment fiduciaries. And that word fiduciary has a lot of meaning in our industry. It means we have to put the client's needs ahead of our own. And we do. And so we want clients to know that they can feel safe coming to us and talking to us. And we're always going to do what's best for them. So where do you start? I mean, like, I mean, what's the first thing you're asking me to do? We start with a process um, and a checklist. With that as a background, we will ask a lot more questions as we sit down and talk to them, much the same way as I'm sure any of your needs consultants do as well. Uh, and as we find out more, it leads us down into more areas of conversation, such as estate planning, and have you put a will in place? Do you have a directive to physicians? Do you have durable power of attorneys? All these different areas. So. It's, it's a process that, that opens with a very initial exploration and then deepens as we, as we go further in the relationship. And just like prearranging your funeral, what you do is also such a gift to the person's family. I like the word that, that you said you're a fiduciary and you have a fiduciary responsibility with these families. So as far as like a fee structure, is there something that you work out in advance so that there's no surprises to them at a later date? We're required to disclose in advance how we're going to work together, what that relationship looks like, what the fee structure would look like, and, and give clients the opportunity to be comfortable with choosing the way in which they work with us. So David, how does pre-planning a funeral fit into an overall estate plan from your point of view? Oh, Kristen, I think it's a very natural fit uh, to do that. Um, we're asking our clients to take a look at, God forbid, you know, if you're not here tomorrow, which we hope is not the case, what do you want to have happen with your family? And so a natural extension of that is, um, and when that happens, do you want your family members to be under the burden of having to make difficult emotional decisions at that point in time? Or does it make more sense to plan that in advance, same way we plan everything else in your financial life in advance? We also believe in insurance as well. Insurance should be left for those that are left behind. Absolutely. And to continue on with their, their lives. So, and that's what y'all do so well. And, um, there's so many ways you can use life insurance. First and primary, you want to protect the people that are left behind that were depending upon that person's income. Even beyond that, even when people are retired and they're looking to most efficiently pass the estate on to the next generation and or the charities that they most care about, the things they're passionate about. Never had anybody tell me I'd like to leave more money to the government. Um, <laughs> and life insurance is a very clever way to help make sure they give as much to the family and to the charities they care about as possible. David, even though a lot of families are, you'll recommend insurance, what other plans should they be making for their estate? We've got a software tool called EverPlans, which helps our clients walk through step-by-step -step in a question-based format, very friendly on the, on the computer. Um, have you thought about this? Does your uh, spouse know what your plans are when you're gone? What kind of service do they want to have? Are there some favorite recipes you want to leave behind? I mean, all kinds of things, because as we all know, as we get a little bit older, um, it becomes about legacy. And we want to help make sure our clients are leaving behind not just a financial legacy, but a life legacy. So Leah, is it ever too late to start estate planning? I mean, if you're already past retirement, is it too late? Absolutely not. Um, I heard a quote several years ago, and it's one of my favorites. You know, the, the best day to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The next best day is today. And it's never too late. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us today? We just would like for folks to know that whether we're talking about um, pre-needs, uh, funeral planning, uh, estate planning, financial planning, 
it's really important not to put this off. It's too important to you, your future, and your family's future. And we encourage people to come see you, and we encourage people to come see us. Now, how can they find you? Well, you can find us uh, on the internet, uh, perspectivewealthpartners.com. Um, you can certainly call us on the phone, 210-785-3442. Well, thank you both for being here. At Mission Park and Mission Park Cares, we'd like to bring you more programming each and every week. Yes, just subscribe here or catch us every Sunday morning on Fox 29. And remember, at Mission Park, it's our mission to care.